Hi, it's Dr. Susan, and I wanted to talk to you about some of the myths about testosterone replacement for women. You know, a lot of us think testosterone is a male hormone, and it is true that men have higher levels of testosterone than we do, but we have testosterone in our bodies too. We need it in order to function optimally. Now, men have estrogen in their bodies as well, so the idea that estrogen is a female hormone is also a little bit of a misconception. Both sexes have both hormones. It's just a matter of the level that we should have to feel optimal. So most of us know when we go through menopause, we lose three major hormones, estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone. Now testosterone doesn't completely disappear like the other two, but it's a slow decline starting at about age 25 or 30. And many of us remember at 25 or 30, we probably felt the most vibrant, the most alive, the most energetic, and a lot of that had to do with our testosterone level. So this happens for men and women both. As our testosterone level drops, and men have the same issue, we lose some of our muscle. We become flabbier. I call it skinny fat. I used to have arms that look like spaghetti. I couldn't develop any muscle whatsoever because my testosterone was zero. I felt tired all the time. I even had back pain at the end of the day because my posture was crumpling because my muscles weren't strong in the middle and I had no sex drive. So when I replaced my own testosterone using pellet therapy, all of those things went away and my story is not unusual. It's the story that I hear from almost every one of my patients. When we optimize your testosterone around the time of menopause or even earlier, like I said, this decline starts at age 30. So many of my patients are even in their 30s. We see muscle preservation. We see a feeling of strength improvement in posture, improvement in energy and sleep, and last but not least, sex drive, which is so important. Now, I also think of sex drive as not being just sex drive, but more life drive, because when I wanna have sex, I want to do stuff. I want to engage with the world. I don't wanna just curl in bed and drink a bottle of wine and watch Netflix, which is what I was doing when my testosterone was zero. So testosterone for women is very, very important. I don't have acne, I don't have hair growth, I don't have gigantic muscles. I just feel like I did when I was younger. So it's really important not to forget that testosterone is one of the very important hormones that we lose and not just focus on estrogen and progesterone, which are extremely important as well, but all three. So if we're going to achieve hormone balance, I think it's like making soup. Now I've just learned to cook and you've got to put just the right amount of salt, just the right amount of seasoning, not too much, not too little, because for sure, if you get too much testosterone, you will have acne, hair growth, hair loss, all of those terrible things. We don't want that. We want it to be just right. So when you're considering a physician to replace your testosterone, it's critical to see somebody who knows how to do that wisely to make sure that you get exactly the right amount. And I am living proof that testosterone makes your life better. I'm 53, I've never felt better. I will wear my testosterone pellet when they put me into the fire. It'll be with me at my funeral because I feel great and I want you to feel great too. So visit us at my website, drsusan.com. We'll help you to achieve hormone balance as well with testosterone.